What is going on, everybody? The Ring Collective is the name of the channel. My name is Winthrop. Let's hop right into it. Wanted to get into video SEO and video storytelling to enhance your SEO. This is for anybody who has, you know, a business, whether you're in the travel space, food, fitness, jujitsu, whatever it may be. If you are providing a service or you have a product and you're creating content, you have your marketing strategy, this is pretty much going to be for you guys. And you know, video is key. Video is king. Video runs it. Video is everything. If you don't have a video marketing strategy, you can hit me up, <laughs> but you need to really revamp it. Gone are the days of just text and a couple of pictures. It does not work like that. Gone are the days of just having paid per clicks with a, some cool photos and some text. It's about organic, organic, organic traction. And with video and specifically storytelling within video, it can boost your SEO like crazy. That's why I'm always telling you guys, shoot your videos. When I work with a brand or work with a business, we're going right to the video. I'm trying to understand the client, I'm trying to understand their demographic. I want to figure out, okay, what is their message? What are their core values? Because this is how I start shaping the narrative to shoot the content. And the reason I'm so big on storytelling uh, for video is because you can create more engaging content. At the end of the day, the marketing, the video, I'm trying to get more customers to this business and I want the search engines to fall in love with the business. And when you have longer form content, you're creating a narrative, creating a story, you can create more engaging content. The more engaging content you have, the more likely they're going to stay or people who found the video, they're going to stay on it. They're going to watch it. Now they're going to be more intrigued to look more into your business as opposed to if you're just very bland. Here's the product. Here's what I do. Take it or leave it. All right. See you later. It's not going to work like that. Just look at any commercial that you see on TV or whatever. They're not even showing you the product. They're showing, they're trying to make you sad, trying to make you happy, get inspired. And then all of a sudden you realize this is a commercial for diapers. It's the same sort of concept that I use when I'm shooting content for, you know, anyone out there or I'm shooting content for Doreen Collective or Jim Ratteki or everything else that I got going on. So, and it also reduces the low bounce rate. With bounce rates, that means, let's say they found a video. They're like, this is corny. I don't understand. And they go back to the search results. That's a bounce back. Like they bounce back to the original search results. We want to make that as low as possible. We want your customers to, when they click on your content, okay, boom, they're staying on it. Let's see some more. And hopefully they'll watch more than 50%. Now we got shareability. If it's more compelling, if there's a connection, if there's some sort of emotion, they're more than likely now to start sharing it. Once you start getting your content shared, that's more eyeballs on your product. So when I shoot, the video isn't just to get likes, to get a couple of thumbs up, you know, a comment here and there. The purpose of the content when I shoot it for somebody or I edit it is I want to entice the customer, entice those search engines to look more into the product or the service. That is the goal. It doesn't matter how, how many likes you get if nobody is now interested in buying the product. I don't care about that, right? I appreciate it. It's cool. But that's the difference of just making a post versus storytelling. That's the difference of keeping SEO in mind versus I'm just going to put out some videos and see what sticks. And anytime, we'll use fitness, for example. How many times do we see same thing, crazy workout, the person's doing a backflip over a plyo boxes into a split. And it's like, okay, cool. You, you might hit the like button and you keep scrolling. As opposed to if you can make a connection, why you need to train, why you need to work out, why you should start jujitsu, what it can do for your confidence, what it can do for your physique, what it can do for your mental health. When you start connecting those type of emotions, now it's more enticing. Now there's more of an interest to say, okay, maybe I should start jujitsu. I should start this gym workout. You just seeing someone get choked out a bunch of times is not going to connect to the majority of people. Right. 
Okay, moving on. <laughs> right. So this is why it's so important. This is why I'm such a big advocate of long form content as well, because you want to the more content, the more meat you can have in your videos and short form content definitely has its place. Of course, you know, you got to have your reels. You got to have YouTube shorts. Absolutely. But those shorts and the reels are to entice the person watching it, entice your client, entice your customer to now, hey, I want to see more. I want to get more engaged with this brand, with this product, with this person. So think long form. And then with that, you have your metadata. And all these things are ha happening on the back end. That search engine is very smart. A lot of people want to downplay it and think it's not that serious to have your metadata intact, to have your descriptions, to have your titles, to have you know the, the keywords ingrained within the title and the description. All of these things are crucial. If this is your business, if this is something that you're passionate about, this is how you're eating, this is how you're getting money, you want to do everything possible to increase vis visibility, to have a better ROI. Why not? Now, the biggest, not the biggest, but the newest thing that is changing is now voice search. A lot of people aren't just typing in, okay, best travel guide or best travel YouTuber, you know, around or whatever. They're not typing that they're, they're saying it. And a lot of times now the way a video is found is through what the video, the video's audio is saying. So now if a person is looking for a travel guide or travel blog, travel vlog or something like that, the search engine will actually try to find the audio within the video that connects with what the client or the person is actually looking for. So having a strong story that has natural language involved in it actually can increase your SEO exponentially. And that's going to be well, it's already the, the common thing, but it's going to become more and more prevalent as more and more devices now are just pretty much listening to everything that we're saying. And then you can start building trust. The longer the content, the more there's a connection, the more you're tapping into the emotion, the more you can start creating trust. Having trust is the biggest thing that you can get for your brand. One of the biggest things. If a person trusts your brand, they trust you, more times than not, they're going to stick with you. More times than not, you're going to have them for the long haul. If you're a little fugazi, something, something's not adding up, you don't have the strong roots. You're not going to have a deep connection with, these, with your client, with your customers. So it starts becoming a revolving door. As soon as they come in, they're on your way out. And then now you're frantic trying to race and get more clients. As opposed to when you start building that trust, brand value, um, social proof, all of these things now keep the client, keep them happy, increases the value. And now you have a lifelong client, basically, because if you, can, if you can create community as opposed to just, hey, this is just a customer or this is just customer number five, number six, where's number six, seven, eight versus having a community, having a strong team that supports, supports what you're doing. Now you have more longevity. So. Next time you're shooting your video, if I'm not editing it, send it to me. <laughs> but think about how you create a story with your content. This goes for video and photography too, but of course I'm leaning more into video. How can you tell a story? How can you connect? Look at the videos that you are putting out for your brand and things like that. Are you tapping into an emotion? Are you tapping into something deeper than, than the product or the service that you're, that you're providing? Is there more to it? More videos on the way. Hit that subscribe button. Let's go.